We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with BBBY Bed Bath and Beyond Inc. Doing a full transition so far from white with red borders to dark green bars. And it wasn't the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market and the spy did as well. And our spy bot at 8.26 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision into the belt and after the belt and call options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with bbby bed bath and beyond inc starting that staircase effect here within the volatility today from way down here in the three dollar range to almost four dollars and we're going to talk about the inflow versus outflow in the born bear indicators but before we do i want to share with you guys the home and opportunity that was mentioned over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot on Friday at 1225 p.m. sent out a bull indicator. It continued strong into today's pre-market and into the bell. Inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision. And call options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see there popping up within the screen, some options even went higher than that. As you see there within the options chain. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, check out the link down below. In the description to the discord are 42 vision indicators we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with bbby bed bath and beyond inc and as i stated earlier in the video doing a full transition from the rip area of bright green bars on thursday of last week into the dip area on friday after hours and today's pre-market and now trying to come back up towards dark green bars guys if it's your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips and the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with BBBY now under a bull indicator again, way down here at 348, canceling this bear indicator from up here at 492. And inflows are back above the midpoint after crossing on Friday and pulling downwards. And things started to reflect with weakness here and a full transition from the rip area to the dip area. And this was a very pivotal area to watch. Why? Because we hit a full transition on the 30 minute and on the one hour, we were under red bars and the outflows were at some of the highest points that we've seen in weeks and days but it also started with strength here today got back to green after the bell and it's back above the midpoint and we're at some critical levels here even though we're still under a bear indicator on the one hour which we're going to look at in just a moment but on the 30 minute we're back into bull indicator and inflows are above the midpoint and the first thing i would watch here is for these inflows to stay above the midpoint currently sitting at 0.38 and not only that we want to see a pull up higher it hit highs here today of 0.67 and on the 15 minute the inflows are right there near the borderline and it's at 0.15 after hitting highs here of 0.71 and it is under a bull indicator 
and it did a full transition from the dip to the rip area so far. Now, it's kind of consolidating here between 390s and 420s, and we need to talk about some key levels here to watch and what I would watch going into tomorrow. So on the 30 minute, again, inflows are above the midpoint. Let's zoom out to the one hour real quick. And it's going to be crucial for these inflows to pull away from the midpoint after crossing today and in the process, reflect that strength into the chart and cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator in the process as it's going from red to dark green. And if it could continue into bright green bars, that's going to be crucial and critical to watch and not ignore here because the inflows are back above and it's the first time on the one hour that inflows are back above the midpoint at 0.14 level since way back here on Monday, January 9th, where that first bull indicator popped up at around the 150, 160 area before taking off. Now, it's not guaranteed to make the same exact move, but something to not ignore that it's the first time with inflows back above the midpoint after falling sharply on Friday and outflows starting to dominate. So we want to see these inflows pick back up here on the one hour and cancel out that bear indicator with any possible strength to the upside. And here on the 30 minute, we want these inflows to continue strong stay above the midpoint and not cross to the downside because if it does it could actually start to reflect that weakness into the chart pretty quickly especially the midpoint getting crossed significantly to the downside because look what happened on friday it went from way up here at around 475 with those outflows crossing over to lows here of 365 now again not guaranteed to make the same move but if those outflows cross over it could eventually get a bear indicator and reflect that pretty quickly into the chart and start testing support levels. Now, if these inflows stay above and they push to the upside, we want to see that strength continue to reflect into the chart and that this bull indicator continues to hold strong within the volatility. Same thing with the strength on the 15 minute and that one hour to pull up with it. So the first support I'll be watching is 340 below that is three dollars and then to the upside the first resistance is 420 it rejected there multiple times and then the highest point of the day which was 448 i would just round that up to 450 and if that's accomplished and that staircase effect to the upside and those inflows picking up with strength the next resistance i would watch is five dollars as always guys thank you guys so much for watching these are the key levels i'll be watching with the bull and bear indicators in the inflow versus outflow and let's make some money